All right, so let's talk about ways to reduce waste as a makeup artist. If I have a cheesy, stupid grin this entire time, it's because this subject actually means a lot to me and I'm really excited to share the brands I'm gonna share with you today. I did personally reach out to these brands in hopes that they would send me some products that could show you brand new versions of them because the ones that I have, they're not, they're not for show because they're clear, they've clearly been used. So I'm excited to share specific brands with you. And if I don't have a specific brand for a product, I will obviously have all the links below in my description box. First and foremost, I do wanna say that everything that I show you in this video is sanitary to use on multiple clients. The definition of sanitary is just taking a soap or detergent and water, taking a scrubbing motion and getting all of the stuff out, the gunk out, and then letting that item dry 100% completely before you use it on somebody else. That's sanitary. So don't be afraid to utilize these in your kit. Um, it's an easy rabbit hole you can fall down you know, especially since we're in the COVID-19 era. Uh, so, but just know that this is safe, provided that you actually follow the protocols on how to use these products. I also wanna point out that as a makeup artist, you're never gonna get rid of disposables completely because there are certain situations where you must use a disposable, such as working with compromised skin, like a sunburn, peeling skin, an open wound, like a cat scratch or something, and acne that's pussing. Um, something like that, you cannot use a sponge over that, you cannot use a brush over that. They must be thrown away if they come in contact with open, broken, compromised skin. So what do you do? You use a disposable so you don't have to worry about that. You can use metal tools because you can disinfect them later, which is a step higher than sanitizing something. So just keep that in mind, but for the most part, you can reduce your waste by using reusable items that I'm gonna show you starting now. So the first thing that I wanna talk about are the cotton buds. Again, we're not gonna get rid of this completely, but you're going to be using this a lot more. This is the sanitary reusable alternative to a cotton bud. This is a silicone swab by Last Swab. They did send me this product and I'm very grateful. Now, I did purchase one of those like cheapy silicone ones. I'm like, whatever, it's the same thing. Nope, it's really not because when I got my hands on these, there is like this texture at the end of each bud, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting hot head, that is just different. It's not the same at all. The cheap silicone swabs that I'm now stuck with, luckily I only bought a couple, are just, they don't do anything. I felt like it wasn't worth it. This little guy here helped me with eyeliner, not this one, but it helped me with eyeliner to like clean up a little around my eye. Um, it also got rid of that mascara that's on the eyelid perfectly without ruining my eyeshadow. And I was like, okay, so basically anything that's makeup related, I can go ahead and use this and I'm gonna feel great about doing so. They're super easy to clean. You could put them in this little corn-based carrying case and I, I really do love, love this. They also sell the ear version to clean your ears. Be very careful, don't obviously, like any cotton bud, don't stick it in too far. And then water, water and soap. I usually suggest like a warm to hot water because I just feel like that works better. But yeah, soap and water, you're great. Now, I don't know for sure if this is a non-porous silicone. Uh, silicone has to be made in a specific way in order to become non-porous, but I'm pretty sure you can just take a barbicide, a barbicide wipe if you really wanna disinfect it between each client. Again, if you're just using it for makeup cleanup, I don't really, you don't really need to go that far. However, if you want to, take a barbicide wipe, the two minutes, you know, use it accordingly, according to the instructions, and I'm sure it'll be fine, but just don't take my word for it. You may have to just buy one and then science the hell out of it by just doing it to see what happens over time. Don't use it on the client, just science it first. So anyway, I wanted to share this alternative uh, with you because I think it is very fantastic. Get a couple of these, uh, a few of these, and then have them in your kit. You can store them like this or put them in an appropriate container where they live happily ever after. <laughs> A cool thing about buying reusable stuff is that you can also get fun colors. So this last swab has these different shades in the beauty section and then for the basic ear um, pod, they have other colors. Um, while I'm currently filming this video, these are the colors. Now they may be different by the time it gets released or later on if you're watching this years down the road. But yeah, so currently these are the colors of the different swabs and yeah. Some of these brands do amazing things and I'm not gonna get into all the detail behind the brands that have partnered with me on this video because this is not a dedicated video, that's different, um, but I do wanna share them with you because I think they're fantastic. 
Okay, so next we've got the cotton rounds. Now, these are great for removing makeup or I actually like to use this when I'm forced to use a disposable and I need to press on some powder. These are amazing. But in the event where you don't have to use a disposable, don't. Use the bamboo washable reusable cotton rounds. Get the white ones. They look cleaner. Listen, you can get they sell dark ones on the internet too. I don't have a specific brand to share with you. I tried reaching out, but they didn't want to be a part of this video. I was like, all right, that's cool. Um, so you can use something like this. I got these off of Amazon. I prefer using white because it just appears to be cleaner for clients. Um, dark ones are fine, but when you're washing uh, these off, I feel like you don't see the makeup on a darker round. And I, I wanted to go dark originally because I was like, yeah, I want black because they stain. Well. The idea is to get the stains out. <laughs> so just go for the white and I wanna show you ones that I have already washed. This is the no bullshit. This is what it really looks like in real life. They did come in their own mesh bag, but these are currently housing my <laughs> unused ones. So this is what these look like. I just bought these like cheap meshy bags from the dollar store. <laughs> I'm gonna use it till it's completely gone. So here is a completely washed, used cotton round, ready to go and look at that. Look how clean that is. But let me tell you what, there's a reason why these guys look absolutely clean. I specifically did the dark black gel liner, lashes, eye, lipstick, everything. I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. And look how clean these are. There's no stains at all whatsoever. It's because I use the Beauty Blender soap. And I will talk about Beauty Blender like nobody's business in this video because they have supported me so much throughout my career. Look at this, look at that. So they do have a little bit of like a, a curve to it, but if you start to like, you know, put them in a container with other ones, they flatten out and they're fine. Um, but yeah, so they're completely clean. But I'll get to Beauty Blender in a second, but I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna need to actually get out all of the makeup. So like I said, don't be afraid, go for the white ones because these appear much more cleaner than the dark ones do and you can see what you need to wash out. And going on the subject of putting on powders with a cotton puff, I used to use these. I mean, I still have a lot of them because you know, I've, I've washed them. This is a washed one. This is a brand new one. So for reference, this is what it looks like. Washed and reused over and over again. And then this is a brand new one. So um, with these, it's just, oh, sorry about the shaky. Uh, you know, they, they, they hold up well, you know, this, I've had this for years. So, and, but the inside of it, it's kind of like some parts are flat, some parts are poofy. I don't know. It's fine. It works. If you have these already, don't go out buying something new. And I want to say that about everything. If you have stuff at home already that is similar to, or is already the stuff that I'm talking about, please don't go and buy new things because it's like, oh, I need that one because they made that one differently. Right? Try to be as sustainable as you possibly can. Going out and purchasing a brand new puff, even though this one works just as well, is not the, not the good thing to do because then you're gonna end up throwing this out for what? It still works. So use up what you have before you go buying something new, okay? Anyway, but I do wanna talk about um, this different puff because I once these guys are done, I want to transition into these guys because I wash these as well and they are amazing. Look at this. I've also used this to remove my makeup and it works fabulously. I've tried um, also to some of us remember the makeup eraser towel that came out. I'll talk about this in a second. I wanted to see if this had any sort of similarity and it does. I used warm water. That's it. With this little terry cloth looking spongy thing and I removed my makeup and it did come off like the good stuff. And again, I used the Beauty Blender soap to remove all of the black staining in here. It's like it was never used. So yeah. And I liked looking at this washed versus this in comparison. Do you see what I'm saying? I was like, ooh. But since I only have like a couple of these, I needed to get more anyway. I opted for these reusable cloth ones. And again, this one also came with its own mesh bag. Thank you, because washing is going to be easy. Another thing that you can replace your cotton rounds with is this bad boy. Oh my gosh. I have nothing but good things to say about this because it has a, a two-sided uh, texture 
to apply makeup, to take off makeup. You can even use your fingers inside of it. I'm just like, I love this sponge. I love this sponge so much. Yes, yes, yes. Along that same line, the makeup remover towel, the makeup eraser towel, that's great. Um, I don't have that here because they didn't send me one. <laughs> so I also didn't reach out to them. But this here is just a simple, soft microfiber-like or microfiber, not, not the ones that feel gross on your hands. This is a nice feeling one. Um, this material too is similar to the uh, makeup towel. This will also works the same. Hot water, warm water, right on your face. No removers required because this took off everything. And of course, if you use the Beauty Blender soap, it'll take out all of the stains completely. I'm, I'm not gonna stop talking about that Beauty Blender soap. Let me just show it to you now because I'm sure you'll get antsy like I will. This is what you need and it's going to get everything out, out of the Beauty Blender sponges, out of all of your cotton rounds that are extremely white. I just, I, I don't know what possessed me to just go, let me just rub it in here and see what happens. I'm so glad that I did because this, you need this. So next up we have sponges. Again, you're never gonna get rid of them. There's gonna be situations and you better know how to do makeup with that triangle sponge if you're in a situation. But yes, yes I do. I exclusively use only beauty blenders for my clients and yes, I reuse them on multiple people. Now here's the thing with beauty blender. This is very sanitary to use on someone else. They are completely dry and they are completely clean. Now what you don't wanna do, and I know that they make an instant cleaning spray. I just, I just don't because the way I was trained is when something is clean, it means it's been fully submerged in water and soap and, and scrubbed out and then completely dried because that is the definition of sanitary before you use it on a new client. So even though they make that quick clean thing, don't use a makeup sponge like this on someone, try to quick clean it and then use it on someone else allow this to dry completely and it takes almost a whole night to do so don't don't go if you have like 12 people that you have to do in a day you better make sure you have 12 sponges one for every client and make sure when you go home that night wash it out with where are you where did i put it it's right here wash it out with this bad boy or the liquid soap that they come with and get everything out make sure every single stain is not on this this is a used sponge make sure it's clean and then it'll be fine. Now what I do when I store my beauty blenders in my kit, I depending on the job that I'm doing, I actually like to use this. I know Beauty Blender also has, I'm sorry guys, they have this thing called the Blender Defender which you can put like two beauty blenders in. I just prefer maybe something like this because it's a little bit more compact, it's smaller and it, it houses each individual sponge. But in this COVID-19 era of trying to do everything you can to prevent cross contamination. I'm going to do, I mean, I'm gonna house these in a different way and I'm gonna show you, I guess it's the great transition to move on, right? Cause sponges, yeah. Cause this is the alternative to using a sponge. Right, great alternative. Let's just switch over and this is how I'm going to store them in my new post COVID era. My excitement for this part of the video. <gasps> okay. I love it when things fit just so perfectly and they're compact. Look how slender this is, shut up. So this here is a silicone bag and this is made by Ziptop. Ziptop did send me these bags to show you guys. I kinda wish I was specific in the email because they make this bag that has a round base to it. So instead of having this slender um, like flat top, it does stand up on its own. They make a round one, which I thought, which looks on the website to be about maybe this tall. It looks like that. I'm not quite sure. That one, I had an idea like, God, that will be perfect. Perfect to stick your mascara wands inside of a silicone bag like that. And the reason why I suggest that is because I have these guys here to show you. So this is a great little container. It's perfect size, right? And I'll, that's the reason, kind of the reason why I bought it is because of the container. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that perfect sizing. When it's perfect, it's just... Uh, the problem is, is that when you're down to like 10, you still have this round of a container to store in your makeup kit, right? And it takes up space, you know? Our kit is always evolving. So I thought that'd be really cool where instead of having something that's hard shelled, if you had something that was silicone, by the time it's done and you're running out of wands and you need to save space in your kit, 
you can just store it and then until you fill it up completely so it doesn't take up any room in your kit. I think that that's amazing. That is the great thing about having silicone bags in your kit because these can be washed. They can be possibly disinfected. Again, I'm not sure if these silicone bags are made to be a non-porous silicone, but if it is, you have to do your research. <laughs> if it is, great, run a barberside wipe all over it. And then there you have a disinfected silicone bag. So I have the dark set here, but the bags come in these different colors at the time of filming this video. The cups are, come on, what I'm talking about, that come with a round base that I think it's just so clever. They have a large, medium, small, and short size. And I don't know which ones would be perfect for your um, mascara wands. I kind of wish they sent me these so I can show you, but if you want to pick these up, fantastic they come in the different colors as well yeah um huge fan huge 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 fan and i just love that perfect fit look at that oh my god having a few of these in your kit <laughs> stop it i mean i don't have my kit here in front of me but you know even setting up the sandwich size bag as an actor bag you know putting a brush or two in here and then their sponges or whatever again try to keep everything dry you don't want anything wet to go in here especially because when you are closing the the top like this you don't want to develop any sort of moldy like situation so uh, or mildewy situation so nothing wet please but if you have their stuff in here it takes up minimal space and it'd be great to kind of set and store in your kit bag get these in different colors so that they're specifically you know for each individual person and then these are perfect to set up within your set bag because they're like files and then you can just bloop, open it up and reach it in and grab the stuff that you need oh this is great i just there's so many things you can use for your bags and I just encourage you to, instead of using plastic baggies for whatever reason, use these guys. So another thing that Last Swab sent me, well, I guess they're called Last Object and then they've got Last Swab and then they've got Last Tissue. I have not used these before. I it, Just top of my brain because I've never used a reusable tissue. I would say maybe if you use tissues for any other purpose than actually like blowing your nose, uh, this would be great for using on multiple clients, you know, just so that you reduce the waste. I very rarely use tissues, I think. I don't think I use tissues very often, but I'm very curious about these. So here is a little divider that goes into the case. I think this is meant to separate the used tissues from the new. It's from what I've gathered on the website when I looked at it. So you pull out a new tissue from the bottom and then, ta -da, and then you, yeah, so this one does not have, it doesn't look like, it does not have a divider. It does not. Ta -da. Ooh. So this is made out of organic cotton. This is essentially just your grandpa's handkerchief coming back into style again. It's just the modern version of it. So there's really nothing bad about it. You just wash it and it's fine. So I'm, I, I'm pretty sure they tell you how to fold these properly on their website. I'm pretty sure I saw something when I was looking them up about how to use these properly so what happens is you take one right and you use it and then when you're done with it you fold it back up and then you push it down into the container right so you continue using these and you see that there's a divider that pops up this is to let you know that everything inside is already dirty and now it's time to go put them for a wash and i think that's so cool because you can clean this out too this little container um so with this particular tissue you want to fold this correctly everything else can be shoved in because I know like people are probably thinking well who's got the time to fold it properly but this one in particular just fold it because this is the marked tissue fold it in a way where you do create that divider so that when you go to put this back in remember this will be like the last one there you go you put it back in then it'll be ready to go you can use the new ones again and just I don't I think it's cool I think it's fascinating these also come in different colors and I suggest picking it up like even if you don't use it for your kit and you use it for your personal use and you think it's great if you're not afraid of using a handkerchief then yeah this is great the next thing that I want to talk about are the Swedish dishcloths by Ten & Co oh, these bad boys I stumbled upon these in a store in Long Beach and it was a low waste store and they sell things in bulk. And I saw this guy and I'm like, what is this? And the girl was like, you can use that for your dishes. And I was like, I don't understand this. 
And then I bought it because I was like, I want to understand it. And oh, this sponge cleans everything and I adore it. So I use these bad boys to clean off my palettes, to clean off the area before I go to work on it. Um, these are fascinating. So let me show you guys what a few months of usage looks like. And this is why I reached out to Ten & Co. And like, you guys don't understand. I need brand new ones because I can't, I can't show you a used up old sponge, but it's still good. These guys are machine washable, dishwasher safe. Um, I throw this one in the washing machine. It's fine. It still works just as well as when I first bought it. Uh, and you can, God, I don't even know how to explain this thing. Okay, so you get it wet and it just, it's like a sponge-like material. So when you're going to clean off your palettes and stuff with like a soap and water, you could just get in there like you're washing dishes, but you're cleaning these off. I'm gonna get to this one in a second. And it really just gets everything off. Once you're done with it, you take soap and water underneath the faucet and then just get rid of all of the gunk. It doesn't have a smell at all. Even when I'm doing my dishes with, with these guys, because I have a whole different set for my kitchen cleaning and my dish cleaning. Oh my God, these are, I wish I'd known about these a lot sooner because I use a lot of paper towels in my kit. Now I don't need to because I have these guys and they act as my paper towels for cleanup for anything. They also let me know that they make a large size, which is great for drying your brushes on what so they have a huge mat that you can just you put your wet brushes on it's gonna soak it up and what so they have drying mats shut up obviously you can use this too to clean up stuff another idea that i have in my head just on the fly if you needed just like a small little wipey you could probably just buy a big mat cut up little sizes that according to what you need to clean up stuff um fantastic idea right you know to make your own personal size wipies of whatever yeah so they do come in different patterns and colors i when they sent me these i was just like just give me all like the black and white stuff again in my style i'm a little more darker you know whatever but <laughs> so I, I i got these but i wanted to show you that they do have other colors and this was as colorful as I got in <laughs> the little trees. So during Christmas, I'm definitely gonna be using this when I have my kit ready to go. Now, I think their website says that this will last you three to six months per sheet, but I'm pretty sure that this is my sixth month with this product, maybe my fifth month with this product. And it still looks like it's pretty clean and good to go. I'm gonna use it till it dies, obviously. But once you're done with it, you can throw it into your compost bin which is freaking awesome. So there's like literally no waste at all, which is why I'm like, yes, get your hands on the Ten & Co dishcloths because these are freaking awesome. The fact that they can just decompose into your compost. Thank you. So in case you're wondering how these hold up to cleaning products, I've used cleaning products on these all the time and I just wash them out with soap and water. And then when I'm done using them, I throw them in the, in the washing machine. So they haven't deteriorated from using just a regular store household cleaner. But then I switched my household cleaner over to a more sustainable one that I get from the low waste store. It's an alcohol based household cleaner, but I think it has essential oils and all that stuff in it. But again, I use that spray and I take one of these and I start wiping it down clean and they, they still hold up. I mean, look at it like this has been this is one of my cleansing cloths. You know, this is not my dish, my dish one. So this is, uh, so I use this when I wipe down my surfaces with a cleanser and stuff and nothing has happened to it. So yes, you can use this to clean. Absolutely. Which now leads me to bringing your own water to the job. Now as a makeup artist, I've worked in sketchy little situations where I would never use the water. I've been in weird bathrooms and weird area. No. So <laughs> bring your own filtered, distilled, whatever kind of water. That way you know you're gonna have clean water at all times. Sometimes some households, I still won't use the bathroom. <laughs> so especially because you're using, you know, sponges that need to be used wet. You can have your own water, bring a cup, maybe a foldable cup, you know, that way you can pour your water in, soak your sponge, use that in case you need to use a wet dishcloth. Get a little water, soak this up, and then you're fine. So bring your own water bottle 
because you never know when you're gonna need it. And then also to a small little sp 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 spritz bottle of your own cleanser so that you can clean out the area before you set up your makeup. I'm mentioning this because I want you guys to avoid using those plastic water bottles that everyone uses, you know? Bring your own hard container, that way this will last forever. Another thing that I wanna mention to you guys is using a Mio palette instead of the ones that are on the market that can be broken and over and get, they look dingy over time because they're made out of cardboard or, or whatever it is, some sort of plastic flimsy material. Avoid that, get a Mio because this guy can be washed, it can be disinfected. These little pods that come with it, this is a magnetic uh, palette. They can be submerged in barbicide just to let you know, and they don't leak. So you can put your creams and your liquids in these pods. It's fantastic for traveling, bringing your own little makeup, touch up makeup. I mean, you can put eyeshadows and powders and blushes directly in this. You can stick them in their own individual pods. You can see in this large pod, I'm holding eyelashes. <laughs> so a super compact way of storing your eyelashes. It's just something that is really great. I can talk. I already have a video dedicated to the Mio palette, so I, if you're curious about this, I strongly recommend watching that video. It will be linked in my description box. So after some use, it's gonna get powder all over it. You're gonna get pigment everywhere. So you take your reusable dishcloth from Tenneco, you wipe it down, take all the powder out, whatever. This can be washed, so you're fine. And then you give it its soapy bath and it's brand new again. I just, longevity. Think longevity when you're buying stuff. Another thing I wanna talk about is avoiding the use of these sticky uh, disposable palettes that you use on the back of your hand or avoiding the use of the paper palettes that you can just, they come in a little pack and you rip them off. Just get yourself a metal palette. That way you can put all of your products on here and work off of this guy. Um, also, I wanna, I wanna talk about avoiding the use of disposable spatulas and using a metal spatula instead. The reason why I'm guiding you towards metal objects is because these can be disinfected. They can be fully submerged in barbicide and that will kill off most of the viruses, fungi, bacteria that's out there. And you're gonna be safe to use this in multiple stuff. Another thing that I wanna talk about is when you set up your station. So you wanna have a barrier between the table and then where you set your makeup on top, which is another reason you can get a large mat like this. You can just set it down, put all your makeup on here, and then this can just be washed. You can also use a towel. I use a towel to set up my makeup on because again, it can be washed. You can also use like rubber mats. You know, they have desk pads that they sell that you can roll up. You can just lay it out and have a, a little pad. And the reason why I bring these up is because I've seen makeup artists use paper towels to lay on top of the table to put their makeup on top, which I'm like, oh, you don't have to use that. Just, 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 just use something else <laughs> that can be either replaced or washed and you'll be fine. Are you gonna sit here behind me the whole time? That's fine, you can do that. Okay, let's talk about these guys. So these in particular, I'll link them below. They can be washed uh, because the bristles are soft enough. Um, they probably won't last as long, but you can reuse them if you wash them and dry them. Now there are gonna be situations when you need a disposable mascara wand and you need to throw it away. Again, you just have to be careful. But I want you guys to consider using a fan brush instead or using a spoolie brush because these are also going to work just as well as a disposable wand. You can go in and pick up product with the spoolie if it fits, <laughs> or you can just add product to the brush and then go in and use it on the client. Obviously no double dipping, you know, and if you need to do it on different eyes, some people like to use uh, different brushes for each eye, it's totally fine just buy more brushes. So consider using these as an option. Also too, I don't have a, a sample for you, but lip wands that are disposable, in case you don't need to use a disposable one, please consider using tiny little brushes like this as a lip wand. So you would just scoop out some product with your metal spatula, scoop out some lipstick, put it on your metal palette, and then work off the metal palette onto somebody's lip. Boom! So you are avoiding the use of disposable items when you don't need to use them. Let's say you are using reusable cloths for makeup, reusable sponges for makeup, reusable cotton rounds for makeup. You have all this wet material. 
now, right? Like, where are you gonna put it in the whole setup that you have? I highly, highly recommend getting yourself a diaper bag <laughs> that can be washed itself. So in the meantime, I found these on Amazon and I was like, oh my God, brilliant. So they have a little snap so they can snap onto whatever, your kit bag, your table, if there's a leg somewhere, somewhere it can just snap onto or you can just store it on the side. And then it, it has this lining inside so there's no, like there's no leakage. So you put all of your wet items in this bag and it's like a laundry bag when you're on set. So you have that good to go, no leaking. There's also another zipper here with the same type of lining so that you can divide up your items. I like to do that. I don't, I don't blend things together when I clean them. So anything that has been used on the face, I will throw it into the bigger container and anything else that I use to like clean up the area or whatever gets separated. So I stick it in here, I zip it up, and then I have a laundry bag ready to go when I get home to wash everything that's inside. I will go in there, wash all of the face stuff by hand. Listen, maybe you're a makeup artist. This is a lot of work. Yes, this is a lot of work. However, it feels better knowing that you're protecting the planet this way versus just tossing everything out, right? Um, if you wanna get compensated for the time it's gonna take for you to wash all of these items, then add it to your daily rate because that's just the reality of how much we actually work. But I thought this was super clever because it's just a way to stay organized and that way your kit doesn't get contaminated. Everything is just compartmentalized in these little bags. So, woo, that was a lot of stuff, huh? A lot of information was thrown at you in this video, but I think it's really fascinating. I love knowing that I don't produce as much waste as a makeup artist. And I really hope that you guys adopt these different types of tools into your kit as well. I wanna send a huge thank you to Last Object, Zip Top Containers, Ten & Co, Beauty Blender, and Mio for sending me product to showcase to you guys because I love the fact that it's able to show you all newer versions of what I have because I don't want to show you some janky stuff. But again, I'm so grateful for your support and I'm very happy to share your brands on my on my channel and I cannot wait to see what you guys do with your kits. So if you have another great alternative um, that is reusable and sustainable, please share them with me on my Instagram, which is at Lana Reese or at Viva Glam Lana because Viva Glam Lana is my makeup only Instagram account and share them with me and I will share it with other people too. Let's try to reduce the waste as makeup artists because we can do that and it is clean to do so. Okay, I will see you all very soon. Bye.